The Chinese government is considering new policies that would help boost sales of construction materials in rural areas. The move comes after similar successful programs drove purchases of home electrical appliances and vehicles in rural areas. Liu Ying reports. The central government's number one document said that the government will support house construction in rural areas as an important measure to stimulate domestic consumption. The Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, or MIIT, noted the detailed rules have not yet been released for offering subsidies for the purchase of construction materials in rural areas. But it is certain that much-needed home improvements and the renovation of dangerous houses will require a large amount of construction materials. The new measures aim to improve farmers' livelihoods. Construction materials will be a new area that boosts consumption this year. Promoting consumption of construction material will play an active role in building a new countryside. Economists have pointed out that one of China's fundamental economic challenges is to drive domestic demand, and there is huge potential in stimulating the domestic demand of rural areas. Because rural area first they are about 700 million people. Right. Secondly, even among 700 million people, this is not everybody can afford, but they are uh, middle income and uh, up income people, their affordability is strong. And thirdly, a lot of those people, their kids working in urban areas and send money back, they can afford. It's a matter of we have to have a special design and we have to have a good marketing and have to have a product which fit their needs. MIIT has noted that quality supervision for construction materials should be strengthened. Those that sell substandard or polluting materials should be strictly prohibited. Liu Ying, CCTV.